Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 has redefined what's possible in Flight Sim. But what happens when you max out your graphics settings? I pushed every slider to the limit, tested multiple scenarios, and even experimented with advanced tools like DLSS Swapper. Stick around as we explore visuals, performance, and some surprising results. Before we get started, here's a quick look at my PC specs. CPU, I've got an AMD Ryzen 9 7950X 3D. GPU is a NVIDIA RTX 4090. I've got 64 gigabytes of RAM. Storage, I have two four terabyte M.2 SSDs. And for resolution, I'm running this at 1440p on a dual monitor setup with MSFS running in full screen mode on the main monitor. With this setup, I already enjoy great performance, but today we're taking things to the extreme. So let's dive in. I started with my normal settings at Kelowna, a mid-sized regional airport, flying the Cessna 172. On the default ultra settings with TAA, frame generation and render scaling at 100, so that's 2560 by 1440, I got a smooth 70 to 90 FPS sitting on the runway. However, I noticed something interesting. If you're in full screen mode and click outside the sim, your frames can drop significantly. In my case, they dropped into the 40s. This is something to keep in mind if you multitask while flying. Next, I cranked everything to the max. Render scaling to 200, so 5120 by 2880. Terrain LOD to 400. Every slider at its peak. And on the runway, my FPS dropped to around 45, which is still far better than what I was getting in MSFS 2020. Once airborne, FPS climbed to about 50 to 70 while using the exterior camera. The visuals were absolutely stunning and the performance remained smooth with no stutters. To take things further, I used a tool called DLSS Swapper to upgrade from the default DLSS 2.4.12 to the latest version 3.8.10. This tool allows you to replace the DLSS file in MSFS with the newest version for sharper visuals and smoother performance. Installing it is simple. Download the DLSS swapper from GitHub, select MSFS 2024, and swap the files. But remember, every time there's a SIM update, MSFS reverts back to the default DLSS. So you'll need to update it again. With DLSS 3.8, Point 10, I returned to Kelowna in the C172. This time, FPS ranged from 40 to 60 on the runway. The performance improvement wasn't massive, but the visual quality definitely looked better. Next, I upped the complexity, heading to San Francisco International, so KSFO, a major hub with live weather, live AI traffic, and multiplayer turned on. Flying the INI builds A321LR, my FPS ranged from 30 to 50. Respectable given the demanding conditions. To really push my system, I tested third party add ons. Flight Beam's KSFO Captain's Edition paired with the Phoenix A321. On the runway, FPS ranged from 35 to 45. But once I climbed away from the airport, FPS rose to 50 plus. The combination of visuals and performance here was impressive. Finally, I experimented with Terrain LOD. At 400, I was getting 30 to 45 FPS on the ground and 50 plus on the climb. Lowering it to 300 didn't change FPS much, but shockingly, dropping it to 200 actually reduced performance. I saw FPS dip below 35 during the climb. For now, I'm sticking with the Terrain LOD at 400 and render scaling at 200. Overall, maxing out MSFS 2024 was an eye-opener. The visuals are jaw-dropping and the performance, even with third-party add-ons, is far better than what we saw in MSFS 2020. I'll continue to monitor the balance between visuals and performance, especially as I do live streams or community flights, but also as I add more add-ons to the sim. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to test FSLTL traffic or other add-ons in future videos. And what's with the weird AI traffic behavior? I saw clusters of airliners flying loosely in formation during this test, 
Did you spot that too? If you found this experiment helpful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more MSFS 2024 content. And I'll see you in this next video.